Oh, jeez, that exploded everywhere. Hey everybody, Boone here. It is haul week here on Boone Builds. I'm gonna start off by showing you um, a number of different bulk purchases that I've made in the last months. I'm gonna show you a bunch of awesome packages I've received a little bit later this week. And I'm gonna hopefully end on Saturday with an epic mail time video. So it's all coming up on haul week here on Boone Builds. So I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do haul videos, uh, you know, where they go to Walmart or they go to the Lego store and they come back with bags full of Lego sets and they talk about the new stuff they got. I don't buy that quantity of new Lego stuff very often, but I do come across used Lego quite often. So if you want to see the other haul videos that I have planned this week, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when I publish new videos. These are some items here in these bags that I found recently. I spent a lot of time at Bricks and Minifigs. Here is an ATST that I found in the bulk table at uh, Bricks and Minifigs. So this is, you know, incomplete. It needs some work. But I figure the ATST, you know, there's a lot of different versions of this vehicle, uh, you know, in Lego form. Um, so even if I don't have completely 100% the right pieces to finish it, I'm sure that I can find pieces that are suitable to finish it and make it look good. Um, so I picked that up and I literally paid, you know, the price of like loose Lego pieces for this. And uh, I think it's going to be kind of fun. It reminds me of, you know, I think uh, the Star Wars episode in Lego Masters, because I spent a lot of time building one of these things, although the one I built was much larger. But um, anyway, so that's that should be fun, and maybe I'll make a video soon sort of talking about how I come up with pieces to finish this thing off. And uh, all right, so I'll set this one aside. And then these bags are bags that I've, I'll tell you a little bit about the history of each of these bags. So the oldest bags that I have here are these three. And these were from a thrift store and I bought these just before quarantine started. So this was back in March uh, of this year. And uh, I, I bought these bags, they, this was the last sort of like thrift shop purchase I made before quarantine began and like all of those shops closed down for a while. Um, and I haven't been really spending much time in thrift shops lately. So I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about what's in those. This, these are kind of interesting. So at Bricks Cascade 2020, so that was, you know, around the same time, I did a collaborative build with my buddies Perry, you know, Mark from, uh, Lego Masters, Sam from Lego Masters also helped us. Richard and Flynn from Lego Masters helped us. And we built this sort of like Ewok adventure theme park. And we won Best in Show at that, uh, what's it Best in Show? No, we won Best People's Choice. We won the People's Choice Award. And so they gifted us the big sand crawler set. And there were so many of us that worked on it that we, we just decided to do a draft to divvy up some of the stuff from the sand crawler. And I brought home sort of like my first draft choices. And then Perry took home like some extra stuff. And he, I think what he did is he went through some bags um, and decided to divvy that up even further and, and give us each a little bit more. So I'll open this up. And then he threw a couple extras in here. So, you know, this is like one of the bags from the sand crawler. And that's just cool Technic pieces. Um, that'll be, you know, a lot of fun to just open up and sort all those little Technic pins into my bulk. And, um, I really like these Technic connectors. They're brown in this bag. So that's fun to, like, extend Technic axles when you want to, you know, drive something with a motor that's really far away. You can connect a bunch of Technic axles together. These are something Perry came across. I don't know where they came from. It might have been like from his nephew or something. And they are keychains. So these are Boba Fett. Let's see, there's two Boba Fett and one another character that I don't recognize. I don't know, maybe Anakin. Um, and these are keychain minifigures. 
and they're just sort of falling apart. So I'll find some interesting use for these keychain figures. And um, he just threw those in there for fun. He knows I like Boba Fett, so all right. And then the rest of the stuff in here, let's see, I'll make some room. We'll get to all this in a little while. The rest of this stuff is just like pieces. I believe these are all pieces of the sand crawler. So here he, he even wrote me a note. It says, sand crawler, draft for Boone, Luke, Jawa, parts, and um, X keychain figs. Yeah, so <laughs> anyway. Um, I think what happened here was like maybe I didn't really have a strong opinion about which which minifigures I got. Um, so I sort of like maybe got the minifigures that nobody else cared about, but I, I'm glad I got a Jawa. And I got a Luke here, so that's kind of cool. I could uh, come up with something cool to do with this Luke. Maybe I'll give this Luke away. Who wants a Who wants a Luke? I'll come up with a with a fun way to give away this Luke minifigure um, here on Boone Builds, and I will announce that soon. Okay. And then the rest of this is, is just, you know, parts. These are good things. I love Technic beams, or Technic bricks. Long ones here, I think these look like 12s, one by 12 probably, or maybe one by 14. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, these are one by 14s. So that's fun, because these are always really good for like using for structural support. There's some big one by uh, six by six, you know, round plates in here. Those are pretty cool. I don't have a lot of those, so that'll be good to put those in my bulk there. We've got some, uh, I really like these big long wedge plates. These are three by 12, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, three by 12s. And the cool thing I really enjoy doing with these is, you know, they go together like this, but there's also a really cool way that you can use ball joints to make them fit together like this. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll show you how to do that. It's, I feel like all I do on this channel is talk about the things I'm going to do someday. And then, and then I get my moderators and other people like Rob K was like, Hey, when are you going to do this haul video? And he's like, that sounds like a lot of fun. And so I'm like, I woke up this morning. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. Cause Dave told me to do the haul videos and Rob told me to do the haul videos. And I'm like, okay, here I am. I said, I'm going to do them. So I'm doing them. Um, Let's see. Anyway, so those are cool. I really like this element. And then this this piece is rad. This is a, you know, a four by six Technic brick. And you can put Technic pins all around the outside. And it just gives you this, you know, you can sort of create more complex structures, you know, by like pinning Technic bricks to these. I just think they're cool. Um, everything else here is just, you know, pretty, pretty standard stuff. It's just nice to have more plates, more bricks. Um, these are kind of cool. That's another thing that I, I don't have a whole lot of these are for like putting the, I'm trying to keep us focused here. Um, for, you know, putting wheels on for a small vehicle, but the really cool thing that these can be used for is, you know, like more structural stuff. So... Like I said, I use these Technic bricks for structure. When you start clipping stuff together like this, you end up getting these really rigid structures and you can span long distances and bulk stuff up really fast. Um, so this is cool stuff. All right, I'm gonna take just a moment and clear these off. Okay, now this is a bag of Ewok figures that I collected before our big Ewok layout. And these are Ewoks that I never even used. Well, this one I probably did because he's loose. This one I probably did because he's loose. But all of these Ewoks that are in bags, like, probably never got used at uh, the convention. But there's also a couple of extra things in here. So a lot of Ewoks. Some of these are pretty cool. Um, this is a Jawa. So there's another Jawa. Here's a, a sand, a, a Tuscan Raider. There. Um, there's another Jawa. Let's see the rest. There's another Jawa. Cool. I can put that with the Jawa that I got from the sand crawler, and I can have like a whole little 
team of Jawas. That's awesome. One, two, three, four, five Jawas. All right, I'm gonna. I gotta go out to the sand somewhere and take some Jawa pictures. That would be fun. Where can I find some desert? <laughs> All right. So I'll hold on to some of these Ewok figures and use them maybe for an Ewok scene in the future. The Ewok Adventureland was taken apart after Brick's Cascade because we didn't have any um, we didn't have anything to do with it. So uh, you know we all went separate directions. Perry took his stuff home. Richard and Flynn took their stuff home. I brought my stuff home and. Ewok Adventureland will probably never be displayed again, but luckily there's some good video and stuff about it, so that's fun. Alright, Ewoks! Woohoo! And a sand person. Doesn't you know when they say sand people, doesn't that sound like a derogatory term? Um so I'll call them Tuscan Raiders. Here we go. <laughs> Alright. These so I'll I'll just do this one quickly. This one is actually one that I got just like last week and this was some parts that I got from my friend Brett and uh, we traded I traded him um, like an old set for some parts here and um, okay here this is cool stuff so I've got sort of a space build planned for the future that I want some orange stuff for I depleted a lot of my supply of um, plates, you know, one by, two by, and larger plates in my Yellow Submarine build. So if you haven't seen my Yellow Submarine build, you should check that out. Um, but uh, I depleted a lot of my plates, so Brett was able to trade me a lot of plates here. And then just a few other special items. This is some gold stuff. I just like gold. Um, here, I'll open these. These are cool. So these are like big wheels. They're sort of like Cinderella carriage wheels, but they can be used for all kinds of stuff. You know, this could just be like a decoration on the side of a castle, or I actually think that's how I intend to use this. And then here's like gates, golden gates, and some of these little like fleur de lure things, or whatever you call those. Just little embellishments, little pretty things to put on stuff to make things look cool. And I think these are going to go in into a castle build that I've been... This is actually a castle build that I was working on before I left for LEGO Masters. So I was working on this castle build like a year ago. And then I didn't finish it. I left for LEGO Masters and I have not touched the thing since. Um, look, there's a spider. Get away from here. I haven't touched the thing since. But uh, they... You know, it's still there. I'm going to get back to it eventually. And so I got some gold stuff for that castle. And then these, man, I'm excited. This is going to be another thing I want to work on in the future is a sort of a pirate layout. Um, and I, I kind of got this idea after, you know, I, I got the Pirates of Barracuda Bay and did the review on Beyond the Brick. So I have that over there. I have my original Black Seas Barracuda up there on a shelf. And then Jeff McElwee sent me um, the uh, the Rock Island Refuge, and so I'm I need to finish building that. And then I kind of got this idea to like start putting pirate stuff together to make a big pirate land. So some of it will be official sets that are incorporated in, and some of it will just be like my own creations. Um, and so I'm always just kind of looking for like pirateish stuff. So there's a couple of you know like crow's nest half barrels. Here's a little barrel and a ship's wheel, because I can incorporate those things all over a pirate build. All right, so that's that. So thank you, Brett. Brett, um, you know, when I first met Mark, Mark and I were building with Brett, and Brett just lives, you know, really close to me. It's like a two-minute drive from my house, so we trade parts a lot. It's a lot of fun. Okay, here we go. That is going in the bag. So I'm left here with these last three bags and like I said these bags look there is definitely stuff in here that's not Lego so that's gonna be part of the challenge with these bags is sorting through them to get rid of the stuff that's not Lego um, I should have a little receptacle for that but anyway these are like way taped shut so I think I'm just gonna have to cut the bags open so I'm just gonna rip them why not and the thing that I think is really cool about look there's a battery geez 
Oh, this is gonna be somewhat gross, you guys. Sometimes when you go through these old, these old, like, collections... Hold on. I know that's loud. I'll, I'll dump and then talk. So, sometimes when you go through these old collections of Lego, you know, these are... Oftentimes came from boxes where, like, a kid put all their Lego stuff, and they maybe built stuff from it for a long time, um, and it just collects yucky grossness. Here's like part of a Matchbox car. Here's, this is, this is, uh, oh actually this is Lego. This is the old sprue from, all right, here we go. We'll learn a little bit here. This is, I believe when, you know, like castle, early castle stuff would come with three different styles of the little plumes that go on the helmets. Or, or pirate stuff, castle stuff, pirate stuff, and those, this was like the sprue for those. So this actually was made by Lego, but it's not really like a useful Lego element, but I might hold on to it because I've got some things that are sort of like this that would be fun to use. Okay, now here's another thing that I'm, I'm seeing here. This, this plus these, this is really cool stuff. This, I believe, was a Technic helicopter from the 90s that I had and I think this was like the front under the front of the helicopter here so like pretty much all of these yellow Technic uh, bricks would be from that set I believe I could be wrong could be something else but I think it's a big yellow Technic set from the 90s let me see if I can figure out what that set number would have been Okay, that was set 8277. So I think we've got an 8277 in here. Now, of course, it's not necessarily all here, but it, that is kind of fun to see. Another cool thing is there's all of these pieces that are sort of like, um, I don't know, Aqua Raiders or Aqua Zone. So this is more stuff from the 90s. You know, this stuff, this kind of green and yellow very oh and here's one of the guys all right so this is awesome so this is the aqua zone maybe aqua raiders sort of head gear and so we've definitely got stuff from the mid 90s here this is a really cool piece um i like this one there's some more stuff that's not lego I'm gonna get that stuff sorted out here we've got I don't know what these guys are. These guys are from maybe like ninjas? Like the old ninja theme before Ninjago existed? I'm gonna look into that because I, I think that's probably what these guys are from. Um, this is probably the wrong head on this body. This is like sort of a, a walkie talkie headgear kind of thing that this guy has on and it probably doesn't go with this body. But that's okay. We'll get this stuff sorted out. Here we've got a tricorn hat. That's Those are always cool. That'll be great for my pirate stuff. Here's, look, look, oh my gosh, there's so much cool stuff in here that'll go great for my pirate stuff. And look at this. It's This is like a forestman hat. Um, what do they call those guys? Wood, woodsman? Forestman? There's a, you, you guys, there's cool stuff in here. There's an old sort of castle helmet sort of infantry helmet guy. Here's another one of these undersea things. This is actually different. So these are two different sort of like undersea backpack deals with helmets built in. Those are awesome. Cool. Here's a um, the, the spinning propeller that can go in this propeller housing. <laughs> this is all stuff from the 90s. This is really cool. Um, so you can put the propeller in there and then the, here. Anyway, you can kind of see it go around there, but all right, here's one of the, one of the woodsman characters so he can get this hat. Although I think that's a, that's a pirate face. That's okay. Oh, here we go. Look, there's one of the ninja cowls. So this can go over this guy. We'll say that that's like one of the ninjas. Cool. I don't know a lot about those guys. Here's just like some gross lint. This is some of the stuff you get when you go through these old, look, more gross lint. 
you know, when this was in a kid's room, it was probably just like in a toy box or something, and it just sat around for years collecting all the extra garbage. But look at this. This is a magnet element from the 90s. And, um, you know, this would have been like Mtron, or it might have come with this AquaZone stuff. Um, they don't make these anymore. They're sort of like a, a health hazard to little kids, but they're super rad because you could do a lot of cool things with these magnets. Let's see, what else? Anything else cool in here? This is awesome. I'm loving it. Look, there's a sword. So this sword can go on sort of like the back of this ninja's headgear thing, maybe, like that. Or just like that. That's interesting. That seems kind of wrong. Maybe it's supposed to do something else. But, um, anyway. Ooh, ooh, this printed tile element is from Spirius. So this was a mid-90s space sub-theme. And they may have used this tile in other things, but it was introduced with Spirius. So that's cool. It was like these sort of bad guys that had robots. Um... Oh, and I just identified here, um, oh, there's such cool stuff in here. Not Lego. Garbage. Pirates. But this, this is an old, um, you know, this is like a, what are these guys? These are, guys are like, he's like a, a, a rebel, I want to say like a rebel gunner or something like that. This would have been like from the very first scene of New Hope. Um, in Star Wars, and this is just like the mighty, I think Micro Machines made a bunch of little like Star Wars ship, it, ships in the 90s. So that's not Lego, but it's kind of cool. So now it's almost like I need a third, I need a third place to put like stuff that's not Lego, but is kind of cool. Um, so let's see, what else? I love these wheels with the rubber. Yeah, so that's, I remember the these wheels, the yellow wheels with the rubber on them came in in that same Technic set that I was telling you about earlier. There's two of them. That's cool. Let's see, anything else cool in here? Oh, a Space Police torso, that's rad. Okay, so this guy's head, I bet this guy's head goes with the Space Police torso. That looks about right to me. Maybe we'll come across a Space Police uh, legs, because these are the wrong legs. They would have been like maybe white and green. We'll see if we come across those. This is cool stuff, you guys. There's cool stuff in here. Look, there's like a, a flipper that you can go swimming with. Um, here's a cool like twisty arm thing, and this would have been from like the you know Aqua Zone or Aqua Sharks. Cool, cool stuff. All right, let's see what else. There's a, a lerp, um, a little ugly rock piece. Like a bat wing, this probably would have been on a dragon or maybe like a some kind of ship that was supposed to look like a dragon. What else? There's cool stuff in here, people. All right, I'm gonna jump to, oh, look at that, a castle door. That's rad. So I'm going to take just a second and try to get, oh, look, a cool old broomstick. That's rad. So this is like the broomstick that we know of as like, you know, the Harry Potter broomstick. But these have actually been in production since like the early 80s with Fabuland actually introduced that broomstick. I'm going through here. I'm trying to get out all of the junk that's not Lego because I want to be able to dump this pile into a pile of stuff for... Um, you know, sorting later, and I just don't want all this garbage in here. Battery. <laughs> Crayon. This actually isn't that bad, you guys. There are, I've gotten used lots before that are just disgusting, like band-aids. I've heard of people finding, like, lost teeth in, you know, like a kid's tooth falls out and they don't realize it until later and they don't know where that tooth ever went and and um, the tooth ends up in the in the Lego box because it's you know small and white and oh my goodness we got uh, what are these connects in here? Gotta get rid of that stuff. I love this green 
There's something about this green from the 90s. It's it's cool. You know, it was it's from a time when like green was kind of a rarish color. So it's just cool. Alright. Looks like I've got pretty much all of the garbage out. There are some Lego pieces. Oh, look at this. I just keep coming across cool stuff. This is a printed one by two brick. It's a black brick with white, like a white grill printed on it. That's cool. This is so gross. I'm just going to throw it away. This, a lot of times these old wagon wheels, you'll often see them. Let me see if I can get focused here. You'll often see them with these stress marks around the center hub. And that's like, oh, and you can see this one is out of shape. So, you know, if they, if they lay on the ground and somebody steps on them, it'll push this center in and that's when you'll get those stress marks. And sometimes these spokes break all together. This one is probably not going to be useful to me. So I'll probably end up throwing that away as well. All right. We will, let's see, I'm going to keep working on this space police guy. If we find more of him, that'll be cool. And the rest of this, I'm just going to sweep off into this bag to sort later. We're going to have a lot of fun sorting this stuff. It's going to be really cool. Oh, there's a connects piece. More garbage. This is like probably a, a peg from the game Life or something like that. There is now a very new Lego piece that looks almost exactly like this and they use it for like candlesticks but it has a hole at the end so that is not lego this would have been like the sprue from probably a double pair of the chrome like knives that these underwater guys use a broken lego piece probably set that aside maybe throw it away Here's like one of those things that you put, I don't know, like one of those little weird beads you put in your fish tank. That's not Lego. This is cool. That's a Lego horse saddle. And it's got the clip on one side. A lot of times these clips are broken off of the horse saddle. So that's cool. Good stuff. There's some cool stuff in here. I'm glad I got these bags. You know, this is, you can also tell that this is a... This is a lot that did not have all the minifigures sorted out, which sometimes, you know, when you find people's old collections, somebody along the way will sort out all the minifigures and sell those separately, um, you know, because they're worth, the minifigures just by themselves are worth a bit more. I mean, they're a, they're a higher ratio, I guess, of the value of a Lego collection. This is a cool piece. This is a piece that has only ever been made in three colors. It's, um, you know, this is a four, a three by four slope, but it has little wheel wells built into it. And they haven't made that in a while. And it was only ever made, I believe in white, blue, and red. I tried to find it in yellow and I, there was never one made in yellow. Here's some cool like castle wall pieces. Nice. Oh, that's uh, Monopoly House, not Lego. I'd love to hear in the comments section if there's anything that you've seen. Um, oh, you know what this is? This is one of those pieces that puts a uh, Hot Wheels track together. So, um, obviously this kid had some Hot Wheels in their collection as well. And I say kid, but this is probably someone I mean, this could have been someone my age, or maybe someone just a little bit younger than me um, would have had these Lego pieces as a kid, because we're talking we're talking mid-90s here. And um, anyway, this is cool stuff. This does not look like Lego to me. That looks like some sort of weird something. There's some more connects. Uh, I don't know what this is. All right. This is pretty much all Lego. Nope, there's another one of those. Maybe these are from uh, Battleship. Is that what those are from? Anyway. So I'll open another one of these bags here. This is the second bag. Oh! Jeez. That exploded everywhere. Okay, 
You guys, I'm gonna try to make this one a little bit quicker because I spent spent a little bit longer than I intended to on that last one. But there is cool stuff in here. Look at this, printed castle walls. These are gonna be awesome. There is this. Look at how rad this is. So this is definitely from one of those like Aqua Zone sets. I'm gonna have to go through this kit, uh, through this lot and see if I can rebuild whatever this is because it's super rad. And this, look, even the, like, there's not a ton of scratches on this big blue, dark blue dome piece. This is such a weird piece that like was only ever used in a few themes. Um, cool. Cool, cool. Here's a, here's a, um, what are these guys? The soldiers. This is, man, that almost looks like a, that almost looks like a Star Wars figure, doesn't it? An early Star Wars? I don't know. I'm not sure who that is. Here's another one of those propeller housings. That's cool. This is a Duplo fence piece. Oh no, that's Tycho. But uh, this is like the size of Tycho that I think is compatible with Duplo. I, you guys, I kind of miss Tycho. It's not Lego, but they made some cool pieces back in the day. This is rad. Look at this. This is one of the like printed panels from the Aqua Zone. I keep saying Aqua Zone. I, I think Aqua Zone is the correct era for the stuff I'm seeing here. I could be wrong. We've got like more of the forceman guys there this is cool all right oh look there's two of these two of these we've got a the um soldiers that went with so these are like the imperial soldiers this is their flag you people there's such cool stuff in here look at this okay Look at this. Okay, now I'm thinking that the face that I put on that Space Police 2 guy is probably a an AquaZone guy. This is his, the the right, I, I believe this guy is 100% correct. I, I could be wrong, you know, I don't know if he's supposed to have the red or if he's supposed to have one of the other colors, but um, that's a cool looking figure right there. And he's actually in really nice condition. And this is, I think, the third or fourth one of these, like, or, and now here's fifth. These, um, I think I've definitely found four of these at least, maybe five in this lot. So this was definitely someone who loved these kind of AquaZone figures. There are green wheels in here. Oh, this stuff is so rad. I knew this was going to be cool, but as I'm going through it, I'm just finding so many more cool things than I would have anticipated. This is cool. I don't know what this is from. This must have been from like some sort of 90s um, pirate thing. Or maybe that's from the ninja guys. This is like sort of a plasticky flag that goes on here. Cool. Let's see. Who else? What else we got in here? This is not Lego. This. Um, you know, sometimes people will post pictures online of something that they're not sure is Lego. I, f like, I've been doing this long enough that I can pretty much just, like, look and tell, like, that's not Lego. Uh, this is not Lego. You know, the, the Lego plastic just has a certain look to it. And then if there's something that I'm not sure about, you know, I'll go to Bricklink. But, like, this isn't Lego. This is just dirty. Um, that's kind of a cool piece. These are not Lego. This, what is this, is this? This is Lego and it's rad. This is like a tailpipe that would come out of a car's engine and sort of like roll onto the side of the car and then, and then go off, or a motorcycle. So a car or a motorcycle, this is a Lego piece. These might have been, this might go back to like Fabuland, um, but uh, I think in this color, it just would have been from City or or something like that. Here's another uh, undersea guy helmet with a black Tron 2 torso. Awesome. This is totally stuff from when I was a kid, you guys. All right. Cool. Awesome. This person right here has like a pilot's 
helmet on. So that's cool. We've got more of the forest people. This is a cool, this green piece. This is not Lego. That's going in the pile of non-Lego. Here's a, a 4x4 rounded yellow brick. This needs to be cleaned, but that's cool. Otherwise, I like it. This is good stuff. Okay, let's see what's in the last bag. Let's see what's in the last bag. This this is one of my all-time favorite pieces. I loved this piece when I was a kid. It's like a 2x4x2 two by by two snot brick with all these studs facing out on all the sides. It's really cool. I used to love to build stuff out of that. It was, you know, it was one of the earliest, aside from the headlight brick. Oh, and this is like the opposite version of it. This is the same size element, but it has anti-studs on both sides. So that was a, I love those pieces. And uh, I was going to say, I think those were some of the earliest snot pieces that we had, aside from the standard headlight brick, uh, headlight brick the, the Erling, um, that we've had for my entire life. Um, but uh, those big ones I used to really love when I was a kid. This is not Lego. I don't know what that is. So we're going to keep pressing on here. I'm going to see what's in that last bag. And um, could be some cool stuff. I have a feeling that, well, we'll see. We'll see. There's a nice long Technic axle. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More of these yellow sort of octagonal round pieces. These are cool. This is like a, a six, a couple of six long kind of Technic. You can use those to make stuff pivot at the ends. That's not Lego. They almost look like G.I. Joe or something. Kind of small, but. All right, one more Connects piece and another bunch of old Lego pieces. And this, this might be one of the coolest things in this entire lot. And the fact that this section of it is still together. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> you know, at Legoland in California, there's this big AquaZone ride and there's actually like a big part of the building at the top is shaped just like this. And it's, it's you know, the building or the, the structure that they built the ride around is actually intended to remind you of this. Last bag, last bag here. There's someone's head rolling around. That must have blasted out of there when I <laughs> opened the last bag. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try not to repeat that. Look, this is from like a Magna Doodle, the round magnet from a Magna Doodle, not Lego. Here's the base of one of those cool magnets I was telling you guys about earlier. All right, all right. More cool stuff. I can see more cool stuff. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm I. I would not be surprised if I'm able to build some serious, awesome, like AquaZone stuff with these, the pieces that are in this lot. Look, there's a yellow one, there's a green one. These are the, um, the propeller housings. And there's like more of this printed AquaZone stuff, more of these, more of the guys there. This is kind of cool. Look at this. This is one of those things that you open up and there's like a gem inside. That's rad. This is like actual chrome. And uh, that, one's, that one's really nice. This one's in really nice condition. There was one of these in one of the earlier bags that I didn't even talk about because it was so beat up. But you see this one has probably been in this container for like 20 years. And so it looks, it looks almost new, you know? Um, <laughs> kind, of a, kind of a cool little surprise to find. All right. There's that. Look, here's more of the guy. I can. I'm gonna be able to create a whole, like, battalion of these underwater guys from this set. It's uh, this uh, this lot. It's incredible. Not Lego. This is a cool piece. If we, if I can find the other side of it. Oh yeah, it's right here. Look at this. So this is um this is one of those pieces that when you find this, it's like uh 
what on earth is this for? Because it doesn't have any anti-studs, so you can't, like, put it on anything. But it fits into this, and it makes, like... A like a revolving door for like a secret passageway. So if you think of like the, um, you know, the the inside of the fireplace in uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, this is like, you know, you could build something on one side of a wall, build something on this side of the wall, and then it secretly like opens up and there's a passage through. So that's a cool piece there. And we have both pieces. A lot of times I'll, you know, if I'm at, if I'm digging through bulk at Bricks and Minifigs, a lot of times I'll find this piece. There's nothing you can do with it by itself. I mean, there certainly there is something you could do with it by itself, but not a lot. And then this piece, you know, is easy to come across. And that could be just an opening without the door. But to have both of them together is pretty cool. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So there's that. Crayon, not Lego. This is a cool piece. I, just, I like, you know, arches... This is neat. This is one of the printed slopes from... Maybe I should make my thumbnail right now with... Um, with these this guy. But maybe I'll... Let's see if I move this stuff. It could be like... Um, <laughs> everybody watching this is like... Quit messing around making your thumbnail. No, this is going to be rad. Okay, cool. And not Lego. There's one of the Aqua Shark guys because he's got like a black sort of tank setup on. More of these. That's garbage. Look at this. More of this. Another one of those. This is definitely uh, an incredible Aqua Zone haul you guys and then look at this I've got a, uh, a, a bicorn pirate hat that has the skull and crossbones logo printed on it so these were made in both you know non printed and printed versions cool I don't know if I see anything else in here that's like really super awesome just more of these maybe I'll make a video soon um, let me know, let me know, should I make a video where I like kind of put together all of the AquaZone guys and I'll show you like as many guys as I can put together from here. Look at this. Okay, I was just about to say that there's not another cool piece in here and I just found the compass. So this is, I believe that the compasses from these sets were functional. I don't know how well they work, but oh, it's working. Yeah, it's, it's generally working. That's pretty much pointing north to north and south to south. Rad. So working compasses in these in these sets, people. That's cool. Nice. Look, more of these cool pieces. You know, it's sort of meant to be like, you know, I don't know, kind of a air tube flow systems for underwater. There's another one of these wings, so that's good. So whatever that wing goes to, I've got both. Nice. This is awesome. Um, I'd love to hear, like, what did you see in this haul that uh, you thought was cool? Here's a, a boat, a little boat for the pirate guys. That'll be good for my pirate thing. Oh, there's such cool stuff in this. These Some of these Lego pieces probably have not been touched in 20 years. Um... Here's like a leg of a of a skeleton. So I don't know. I, I didn't notice other skeleton pieces in here, but maybe I overlooked it. Not Lego, not Lego, not Lego. We'll get rid of that stuff. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. This uh, has been a lot of fun to go through these old pieces. And uh, I actually discovered a lot of really cool stuff in here that I wasn't anticipating. Um, again, if you'd like to see more videos like this, I'm publishing as many videos as I can. Um, I've been doing three to five videos a week for the last few weeks, and I hope to continue doing that. Uh, I'm Boone. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon. And until next time, go build something amazing.